Welcome back to another tutorial in Tinkercad. Today we're going to look at creating a basic mug that has a handle. So we're going to go ahead and open up our new 3D design and from there make sure you go up and give it a name. Once you've given your project a name, we're going to go down and check our edit grid and we're going to make sure we switch from millimeters over to inches. Once your units are set to inches, go ahead and select your update grid. Now the first thing that we're going to need to do is create the general shape of our mug and we're going to go ahead and use three inches as a diameter as well as a height for our basic mug. So we're going to go ahead and grab our cylinder tool and bring it in and once we do that there's a few properties that we need to adjust. The first thing we're going to look at is making this a little bit more smoother around the outside edge. So go ahead and check your sides and we're going to bump that from 20 all the way up to 64. Once we've adjusted our sides, we're going to go ahead and change that diameter so that we have a three inch diameter all around. Once you switch your diameter, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the height of that cylinder and let's go ahead and check that square and change that from one to three. Now that you have the basic outline or basic shape of your mug, what we're going to need to do next is basically create that hole. You can go and change your color for your cylinder if you want at this time, or you can wait till a later time in the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and switch mine over and we're going to make that more of a darker gray color. Now that we have that cylinder, what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and move that to the back of my workspace to give me a little room to work here. The next thing I need to do is bring in my striped cylinder. Once I bring in that striped cylinder, I'm going to go ahead and change my sides and make sure that that's also up to 64. From here, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the actual diameter. And this time we're going to have a wall thickness of a quarter of an inch all the way around. So the diameter for my inner hole is going to be two and a half inches all the way around. Once you've adjusted the diameter, we're going to need to go ahead and take a closer look at that height. Let's go ahead and bump that height up and let's make that 2.75. That's going to give me a bottom base of a quarter of an inch and that's what's going to allow the liquid to stay in our mug rather than actually going right through. Now before we go ahead and constrain these or place these two guys together, what we're going to want to look at doing is raising this guy up just about a quarter of an inch. So clicking on that black triangle, we're going to go ahead and drag him up and then we can go ahead and type in our 0.25. Now once we have that raised off of our workspace a quarter of an inch, we're going to go ahead and make sure we're clicked on one of our shapes and then while holding the shift key down, go ahead and select that sh second shape. Once both shapes are selected and highlighted, we're going to go ahead and use this align tool. Go ahead and click on your align tool and then let's go ahead and take a look at this from our top view. Here you're going to see all of these black dots that are going to show you how it's going to be constrained. Go ahead and pick one of those black dots and we're going to start there. I'm going to start with this one off to the right and now you're going to see that both of my shapes are aligned in a horizontal manner. In order to bring both of these together so that they share the same center point, I'm going to go ahead and select this middle dot. Once I select that middle dot, you'll notice that now both of them are sharing that center point. Now that I'm done, I'm going to click off on that workspace. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my shape and now I'm going to go up to my group option and make this one component. Once you select that group option, you'll notice that now you can see that inner hole of your mug. Now that we have our mug made, the next step is going to be to make the handle. So I'm going to move him back to that back workspace just to give me a little bit of room. For this, we're going to go ahead and select our basic shape and we're going to go and use a tube for this. Go ahead and grab your tube and bring it into your workspace. Once you're in your workspace, we're going to go ahead and rotate around a little bit so we can get a better view. And we're going to go ahead and rotate this around 90 degrees. Once you select that rotation, go ahead and type 90 degrees and you'll see that we'll put this on end. Now we're ready to go to start sizing our handle. We don't have to worry about specific dimensions for this. You just want to make this look the best or what looks right to you. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my front view, tilt that down just a little bit. Notice that that ring or that tube is below my work plane. So I want to bring that up until I see that zero in the bottom right hand corner. Now that we have that, we want to see where does our handle want to actually attach. We know that our mug is three inches. So maybe we want to start with giving this a height of somewhere around two and a half. 
Once we get to that two and a half mark, we can then go ahead and start to stretch that guy out a little bit. And let's see what just looks good for us. Notice that you have that center line. We can use that center line to help us place that on the edge of the mug. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that over a little bit. And then let's go ahead and take a look from the top. And I'm going to move him back until he is right in the middle of that mug. Once you get it placed just about in the middle, let's slide him over just a hair. We can go and take a look and see if that's what we want. I'm noticing right now that my handle's probably a little bit too close to the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that top triangle and I'm going to move him up just a hair. So now that we have our handle in place, the next thing we need to do is remove that portion that's inside our cup. In order to do this, we're going to go ahead and click on that tube and we're going to slide him out into our workspace. From here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a top-down approach and we're going to go and select another basic tool such as the box. Go ahead and bring that box in and we're going to go ahead and drag the width until it reaches the center of that tube. Once it reaches the center of the tube, go ahead and make sure that we move it back so that it covers the entire left hand portion of our handle. Now going from the front view, we're going to go ahead and change that height by bringing it up. And now the section that is within that box should be removed once we go ahead and group those two items. Now that that box is selected, go ahead and hold the shift key down and click on your tube. Once your tube is clicked, let's go ahead and select the group option. By selecting the group option, you'll notice that half of that handle is now gone. At this point, go ahead and change the color of your handle and then go ahead and look at that top view. From our top view, let's go ahead and use our arrow keys, slide it back to the middle, and then from there, let's move that into our mug so that it is touching the end. Once you have it in place and you are satisfied with the dimensions of that actual handle, we can simply go ahead and group our final two pieces together. Once you've grouped those final two parts together, the last thing we really need to do is go ahead and select the solid color and we're going to go ahead and change that to multicolor. Now that you've changed that color, you can go ahead and enjoy your mug and later on we're going to take a look at how we can add some images or decals to the front of this.